So the question wants to know what is the per unit burden of tax on the buyer and the seller. And we start off by identifying where the old equilibrium point was, or the original equilibrium point. And that exists at this coordinate of 90, 14. So once you find the old equilibrium point, you want to dot it. And then from that point you make, draw all the way to the y-axis. And from that point again, draw all the way down to the x-axis. That way you identify the equilibrium point. Now go find the new equilibrium point, which would be right here. Once again, draw all the way to the y-axis. And this time, instead of drawing straight down, first draw all the way up until it punches into the demand curve, the original demand curve, and then draw all the way str straight down to the x-axis. From this new point on the original demand curve, which I will overly exaggerate right here in blue, you want to draw all the way to the y-axis. Now, right here, this area, this area right here represents the per unit tax burden on the buyers. And this right here represents the per unit tax burden on the sellers. So, if we look right here, we have 16 minus 14. So that's a $2 per unit tax burden on the buyers. As we can see right here, for the sellers, it will be 14 minus 8, which is a $6 per unit tax burden. So right here, the answer choice is A of the four choices.